Everybody is unique in their own way. <laughs> okay, we're all special, of course. However, the kids on this list definitely took the word unique to a whole new level with their super rare conditions. From a baby born with her heart outside of her chest to a girl who lives in a plastic bowl, we'll take a look at 10 kids born with super unique conditions. Be sure to stay until the end of the video and check out our number one pick, because that just might be the most inspirational story ever. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? And I'm not crying, I swear. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for y'all that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. <laughs> Try it. It really works. Baby born with heart outside of chest. They say home is where the heart is, and it's moving day for this little one. Vanellope Wilkins was born on November 22, 2017 at Glenfield Hospital in Leicester, UK, with her heart outside of her chest. Don't believe me? Well, take a look at the video and see for yourself. Yes, that's her heart beating outside of her chest. It sure is a miracle. Have you ever seen anything like that before? You see, Vanellope is suffering from a rare condition called thoracic ectopia cordis, in which part or all of the heart grows outside of the body as the baby develops in the womb. Babies born with this condition have less than a 10% chance of living. But Vanellope managed to beat the odds. She had three operations to place her heart back in her chest. After 14 months in the hospital, Vanellope was finally allowed home permanently in February 2019 boy with clove syndrome. Our child does look different and he was born that way and we never knew he was going to be able to do all the things he can do and he amazes us every day. Three-year-old Victor Padilla from Rochester, New York was born with clove syndrome that made the right side of his face heavily swollen. It's an overgrowth illness that causes complex vascular anomalies leading to the formation of tumors on the body. Clove syndrome is an extremely rare condition. In fact, there are only 200 people in the world who are affected by it. This disorder can affect the immune system and brainstem. People who suffer from it are incredibly susceptible to common illnesses such as flu, which could be fatal. Not to mention the fact that there is always a risk of a tumor developing. Unfortunately, there is no cure for Clove syndrome. It can only be managed. Young Victor doesn't let his condition stop him. He's defied all odds and proved the doctors wrong. In fact, he is developing so stealthily that his parents even enrolled him in regular preschool near their home in Rochester. Giant 8-month-old baby <laughs> 8-month-old baby from Punjab, India named Chahat Kumar weighs a whopping 38 pounds. Yes, a 38-pound baby, you heard me. It's double the weight of a normal child of her age. In fact, she has a weight of an average four-year-old kid. Now, how is this even possible, you ask? Well, Chahat is suffering from Liptum Deficiency Disease, a rare genetic condition that restricts the signaling that triggers the feeling of satiety in the brain. That means feeling full. Doctors in India have found that Shahat is only one of 51 cases worldwide who have been suffering from the early onset of obesity because of the Liptum gene deficiency. When Shahat was born, she was just like normal babies. It wasn't until four months later that her parents realized that her weight was increasing. She is hungrier than other babies and wants to be fed every half an hour. I think Gerber baby formula could give them an endorsement. The child who's made of glass. Meow. Meow. She can have both of her legs broken and still look like a total boss in her sunglasses. <laughs> Six-year-old Zoe Lush from Huntington Beach, California, suffers from a rare condition called osteogenesis imperfecta, or OI for short, which causes her bones to break without a cause. The disease has fractured nearly every bone in poor Zoe's body and almost internally decapitated her after bones in her neck began to wear away. Yes, it is that serious. As a matter of fact, Zoe broke several bones while she was still in the womb and broke another 100 bones before her first birthday. That's intense. Parents Chelsea and Curtis were first told that there was something seriously wrong during pregnancy. They were doing a 4D ultrasound 
and doctors were able to see Zoe's multiple fractures that were fresh and healing already. Doctors told the parents that her daughter had a really severe condition and that she probably wouldn't make it until her birthday. However, Zoe managed to defy all odds and endure a number of painful surgeries, including one to stop her spine collapsing due to a condition called surgical kyphosis, which would cause internal decapitation. Despite the challenges she faces, Zoe's parents are confident that her tenacity and charm will guarantee her a bright future. Age 21 and only 23 inches tall. At just 23 inches tall, 21-year-old Manpreet Singh is one of the smallest people in the world. 21-year-old Manpreet Singh is just 23 inches tall and weighs only 15 pounds, so basically the same height and weight as a six-month-old baby. As such, he is one of the smallest people in the world. Manpreet has swollen palms, feet, and a big face with saggy skin. He primarily communicates through gestures and can laugh, scream, and cry. Since the age of 12, Manpreet has been worshipped as the reincarnation of a Hindu god by the local villagers. People visit him every day to be blessed and approach him in public. Doctors believe that the boy is suffering from Laren syndrome, a genetic condition that affects only 300 people in the world. People living with Laren syndrome lack a hormone called insulin-like growth factor 1 or IGF-1 which stimulates the cell to grow and divide to form new cells. The boy who can't stop hurting himself. Self-injury ranges from biting the lip, the tongue, the cheek, biting any part of the body he can get to. 11-year-old Davy Wickland from Winton, Washington suffers from Lesh-9 syndrome, a disorder that affects his muscle control. This disorder causes young Davy to severely injure himself. It's a very rare disease, affecting only one in 380,000 births. But Davy has got the extreme. He can't stand, walk, or pull his head up for a long time independently. Davy's got arm braces that keep his hands from reaching his mouth. His parents also had to make special kangaroo pouches for his legs so his feet don't kick too far. The boy with the rarest type of dwarfism. I'm Landon and I'm seven. I'm three feet tall. Eight-year-old Landon Johnson from Lincolnton, North Carolina, suffers from primordial dwarfism with ligase 4 deficiency, the rarest type of dwarfism in the world. In fact, the disease is so rare, there's only been 28 recorded cases in the world. Young Landon is only three feet tall and weighs only 24 pounds, so almost about the same size as his three-year-old sister. Landon is expected to grow another foot at best in his lifetime. The disease also affects his immune system, making him unable to fight off everyday infections. Poor kid. The boy who sees the world upside down. <laughs> After hearing the case of this kid, you'll not only be shocked, but also touched by it. 13-year-old Mahindra Hirwa from India suffers from congenital myopathy, a rare, strange disease that makes his head hang at a 180-degree angle. That's right. In addition to seeing the world upside down, the condition also prevents the boy from standing or walking by himself. Poor guy. As his parents couldn't afford the operation he needed, his story went around the world and touched an English woman who took care of collecting money for Mahindra's operation. Thanks to that, the 13-year-old boy could have a better quality of life. Unfortunately, after eight months, Mahindra passed away due to cardiopulmonary complications. The girl who sleeps one hour a day. People were, I think, just hoping that everything was okay because she is so happy, but it was almost too happy. Because I Three-year-old Eva Hisco from Renfrey, Ontario, suffers from Angelman syndrome, a rare genetic neurological disorder that causes developmental delays and neurological problems. It's considered extremely rare, affecting one in about 20,000 live births. One of the main symptoms of Angelman syndrome is the ability to function on minimal sleep, or in Eva's case, one hour of sleep a night. I can barely function on six. 
Not only does it affect her sleeping, but it also means she's unable to speak and has to communicate by pointing at pictures. Other symptoms include a short attention span and constant happy demeanor, which is why the condition used to be called happy puppet syndrome. There's no cure for this condition, but Evers' family is excited about the ongoing research, believing a cure could be on the horizon. The Girl Who Lives in a Bowl 19-year-old Rama Haruna has lived almost her whole life in unbearable pain. You may find it hard to believe, but this young girl from Nigeria named Rama Haruna lives in a plastic bowl. Yep, that's right. 19-year-old Rama suffers from a rather mysterious condition that causes her arms and legs to stop growing. And like that wasn't horrible enough already, she's also in constant pain. Well, here come the tissues. The cause of her condition is not yet known, and Rama's family has worked tirelessly to find a diagnosis. Despite the challenges she faces, the brave teen is full of hope for her future. And that's a wrap on 10 kids born with super unique conditions. Which one of these kids has impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments below and I'll handpick and feature your comments in the next video. Look out for your comments. We got a comment from Norbert D. Norbert commented on the Most Unusual Families in the World episode. Well, that was interesting. Norbert commented, The most unusual was the vampire one. I would never show my blood. Oh yeah, that's the, the Leah Benningoff and R.O. Draven one. Yeah, me neither, Norbert. Me neither. Yeah, that, that's just too much, man. 